Good morning from Bell Green, Alabama. This is some of our registered Hartfords and we're going to do some blood testing today. So, got this one in the head catch. What you're going to do is raise her tail up. And you're going to find the magic spot. Hopefully it's just going to be still. And voila! You pull about two and a half or three cc's of blood. And then we're going to send it off and get the results to see if they're bred or not. And just like that, we got number one. But we got several to go. What's the barn for? Girls, are y'all ready? So Ainsley has the Sidectin wormer. And guys, we've done this for a few years without this little instrument. This right here tells how much it weighs and how much to, how much to give them. This is the only way to do it. And you just spray it until it stops. And you're done. I don't know why I keep taking the lid off, sorry. Is that hurting you? Yeah, my husband just had uh, shoulder surgery and he's probably not supposed to be doing this, but you know. And just like that. And we take it over and put it in a tube. Some of our spring calves. Good babies. See how easy that is? And it's purple, and so you can kind of see where it I think that's all the big stays ones. on the skin. And it's rainproof. Although we still don't like to do it when it's raining. <laughs> what gonna do? Did you get that less. one? Yeah. Okay. Come on, babies. <laughs> I don't want to leave. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well. I thought we had all the cows. <laughs> no. Where'd that cow come Ruby, from? Ruby, she was in there. <laughs> Wild cows here. Wild ones. Come on. Yeah, let's go through the gate and tear it up. Come on. Gonna break a neck. Yeah. Come on. Seriously, quit being nosy. <laughs> Silly goose. Come on. Come on. Everybody. Come on. There we go. Good babies. Good babies. Our 
Okay, so we made it home with our blood samples, and I was getting ready to package them up to send to the lab, so thought I would just hop on here and maybe show you guys what I do. It might help you with your farming. Um, okay, so I made this form up to send in, number one, but I kind of cheated off of this old kit that we used to use. It's called Biopran with a B. Um, I copied this off, so I cut that off. But um, it's a kit that has like 10 vouchers in it. Um, so that's a free, 10 free blood test. And they come with these collection tubes and with some needles and instructions and stickers and that kind of thing on how to ship them. Um, I like these tubes because they're a little bigger and they have actually a spot for your animal ID on it But you know, that's not the end of the world to not have that um, The reason we actually Stopped using this was because the lab we were using and I called a couple of others. They had quit accepting the vouchers so um, We just thought well, let's check on you know and get some more ideas of what to do so we just bought a package of a hundred off of Valley Vet of the blood collection tubes and we already had our own needles anyway for shots and whatnot so uh, we just started doing that so I made up my own little form I just put our name and address and phone number email address and then made a list for the animal ID um, you can put the, write this hand write it on a piece of paper I'm sure it's not that big of a deal but then I just go through my tubes and you know write their numbers down and I'm a recycle girl, so um, these little rubber bands come off of my green onions. <laughs> Not that you want to know that, but anyways, they're perfect for these samples. So I just you to you uh, rubber band them together, wrap them in a paper towel, so they if they leak, you know it won't be devastating when they get there. Put them in a Ziploc bag, and that kit contained. Um, a sticker like a hazard sticker to put on here but I'm pretty sure that the lab knows what they're getting when they get this from me now then I wrap it in bubble wrap and put it in the smallest box that I can find in which this is the smallest one I can find today so it's the winner all right so I send mine to Oak Haven Diagnostics it's in Georgia and it costs $2.50 per test. Um, so I just send a check with this form in there. And they test on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You get the results the next day by lunch whenever they do the testing. Um, the testing is 99% accurate on an open cow and 95% accurate on a pregnant cow. And we normally test our animals when they've been with the bull 45 to 60 days or at least 28 to 30 days after we've seen them be bred. Um, if there's any questions about the results, they'll send a, a recheck. We've had that happen a couple of times, um, but it's not a big deal. And then also on the box, the sticker just to remind me, this is one of the stickers that came out of that. A kid I was telling you about but I always take a sharpie and write exempt animal specimen on the side just so that you know UPS will know what's in there um, the post office will not mail these so I've been sending them UPS and depending on the size of the box I believe um, they've been between 15 to 18 dollars to ship it um, I think that got it so thanks for listening and um, like and subscribe our channel. How fresh is this stuff? Could be any fresh or we still be grazing. Whoa! Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Give us a huge thumbs up.